Armstrong Compton, the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I'm here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. This past Sunday, we uh, concluded our Jesus Revolution worship series, and we did that by looking at how Jesus demonstrated to love in a new way, and he did so by washing the, the feet of his disciples. And what I encouraged all who are worshiping with us, both in person and online, is to do a tangible um, reminder of this message and, and what Jesus was doing, how Jesus loves in a new way, by sending me some pictures of your feet. Send me pictures of your feet. And we're going to put those in a collage or image somewhere that we can put all of the feet of Main Street together and we can celebrate um, how Jesus loves us in a new way, how we are called to love in a new way, and how we are prepared to take our feet out into the world and spread God's love as far and as wide as we can. So send me some pictures of your feet. It's not too late. I've gotten a number of them, and I'm looking forward to getting some more. But this coming Sunday, we are, we are starting a new worship series entitled Bridges. We're going to be looking at ways, uh, different kinds of connections to bridge humanity, bridging to God, and how God has helped to create that bridge so that we can connect and relate to God. How bridges, both physical as well as relational, help us throughout our lives. And one of the things that helps, I think, provide a bridge, hopefully, is uh, various denominations. Main Street is part of the United Methodist denomination. And some people find that to be a bridge that helps. Some people find, find that that could be um, a hindrance to getting to know God in a, in a new and a powerful way. But I think it's important with all that's happening right now in the United Methodist Church in our denomination that we have a, a refresher course or maybe a first course, a, a Methodism 101 course that helps us understand our history of United Methodist Church. It helps us understand our, our doctrine, our, our theology, our polity. It means how we are organized and structured. And just to make sure that we all understand what does it mean to be a part of a United Methodist Church. Um, we're going to do this over six different weeks. Uh, you can come to all of six lessons, or you can come just to the ones that uh, are of particular interest to you. We're going to begin them this Sunday on September 10th at 4 p.m. And at the very beginning, this first lesson, we're going to be looking at the beginning of Methodism, how it began with John and Charles Wesley, how it came over here to America America, and then how Thomas Koch and Francis Asbury began the work that was needed to be done here in America. So I invite you to come on Sunday at 4 p.m. if you're interested in a Methodism 101 class. If you would like to participate but you can't come in person, send the church a message, reach out to us, and we'll make sure that you have a, a Zoom link so you can participate and and attend the, the class via Zoom. So I just want to lift that up as that's part of our beginning this, this bridge worship series. We are starting a, a Methodism 101 class. I also want to remind you that uh, in a couple of weeks on September 17th, we will have our next Bread for the Journey gathering. We're going to be gathering at Thomas Chapel, which again is going to be at Thomas Chapel is a a former Methodist church that is being revisioned. They're taking the, the what was uh, in our history and bridging it into what could be uh, the church's future and worshiping God and connecting with God and who God is calling us to be in some new and different ways in 2023. So that event, the Bread for the Journey, starts at 3 p.m. on September 17th. And we are excited that Patsy and Tony Martin are going to be a part of that and helping us learn a little bit more about Bedford Chance, what that is like and how that has helped them in their spiritual journey. 
We're also looking forward to September 24th. Immediately after our worship service that Sunday, we are going to have a potluck lunch. Um, we're going to go down to the Community Life Center and have a wonderful meal together. And we're going to listen to Tommy Herndon, who is from the Virginia Methodist Foundation, talk to us about what it looks like to do planned giving or estate giving and making sure that uh, if you desire to continue to help uh, Main Street do the, the work and the ministry that we are called to do into the future, what uh, ways that you can be a part of doing that. And then I also want to lift up on September 23rd is Centerfest. And that's always a fun event downtown Bedford. Lots and lots of people attend. And we are blessed to be right here in the midst of it. And we uh, need volunteers to help uh, be here for that, to help with our children's activities that we do in the courtyard, just to be host or hostess, that when they come in to help welcome them to our building. If people need to go to the restroom, if we need to give them a bottle of water, something like that. So if you're interested in helping in any way, at all on Centerfest on September 23rd. If you could let Beth Hicks know, um, we try to sign up for shifts an hour or two at a time is all that you'd be signing up for. So we can all take turns and, and be a part of that wonderful event that day. That's a lot of stuff that's happening, friends. And that's just a part of what's happening here at Main Street. It's just an exciting time. Fall is a busy time for us, but it's a great time for us to to reconnect and, and go over whatever bridge we need to do to, to find a way to connect with God and to, to see how God is working in our lives and how God is calling us to connect with others. So I look forward to worshiping with you, friends, worshiping with you either this Sunday in person at 1030 or worshiping with you online. Have a great rest of the week. And God bless.